Starting with the background first, you know, I have a normal IKEA desk and I have my personal laptop here with some plushies that I got either at reInvent or some other conferences. So I've got a huge collection of plushies and then some books. I usually do like reading and note taking stuff on this desk. So not a lot of screens here. And then the famous learn to cloud sign along with some Philips Hue. So on the right hand side, I've got the main setup and this is where the most of the work happens. So, Let's get into the monitors first. This is the latest upgrade to the setup, which is a 4K monitor and it's also gaming. Before that, I have been using two 1080p monitors. So this one was my main because it's also gaming and this was secondary. But for three years, I've been using 1080p. So it was a huge upgrade to the 4K. Like I didn't even imagine that it would make such a difference. Like I love 4K and the upgrade was recommended to me by Gwen. She said, you need to get a 4K monitor. It's worth the upgrade. And this holiday season, I finally did it. And then it's 144 Hertz. I'll link down the model. It's a gigabyte uh, monitor. And then this one is an LG gaming monitor. This one is also 144 Hertz, but 1080p. This one is just a regular 60 Hertz monitor from Acer. So this usually has my Discord and Slack or Teams chat open. This one I usually have my code editor or uh, some browser windows if I'm watching something or you know looking at documentation and stuff. And this one usually has another browser window which would have you know the local host running or the website that I'm working on or project I'm working on right now it has GitHub. And this is the desk. It's an IKEA desk. So. Moving on to the keyboard and mouse, I have got the Logitech G Pro keyboard. Mouse is the G502. Both of them are wired. I love that they are wired because I don't have to remember charging them or you know replacing batteries on them. The keyboard is a 10 keyless keyboard, so I love the small form factor. And then the mouse is like a bit heavy, so it's really good for you know my longer hands, and the, it's also good for gaming. And then. Moving on to the speakers. Um, so the speakers were given to me by my younger sibling. So these are the Bose Companion um, twos, I think. And they're awesome. They sound really good. And since we are talking about speakers, let not, let's not forget the Focusrite 2i2, which is the audio interface that I use for my setup. And this is the mic that's connected to it. It's the Shure. MV7. I have been using this mic over a year now, so I've been using it as a USB mic and an XLR mic over a few uh, months now. And I love that you have the capability of using it as both a USB and an XLR mic. This is, it sounds really good. Uh, and then we have got some cloudy things on the desk. So I've got the AWS mug that I got at reInvent, uh, which holds my coffee. And then I've also got the Logitech headphones. So these are wireless and they're really light. Uh, the other thing I love about them is it has a receiver. So they are also Bluetooth, but it also has a receiver that you can use. And that's how I use it with my main PC. And then you'll see my laptop sitting here. So this is my work laptop and has ton of stickers on it. I love that I spent some extra money on the monitor because this one has a built-in KVM switch. So what it does, it, it has extra USB ports where the keyboard, the mouse, uh, the audio interface is connected. And what the KVM switch does is it connects all of the USB devices to my Mac over a single USB-C cable. So if you click the switch on the back, it will switch it to my main PC. And then if you click the switch on the back again, it will switch the screen and my keyboard and mouse and mic stuff to my work laptop, which is amazing. Uh, with like single click, I can switch to like, you know, work mode and with a single click, I can get my personal setup up. So this usually sits here. Cable also provides power to this laptop up to 65 watts. So yeah the monitor is worth the upgrade now moving on to the top of the monitor you can see a light bar here um, which again gwen recommended me for reading and stuff and it's amazing so it's a light bar that connects on top of the monitor and then you can see it 
you know, illuminates the desk, but also the screen, but you also don't get much glare. So yeah, that was an awesome upgrade. And then on top of the light bar, you can see behind, um, there is the Sony A5100, which was my first camera that I started YouTube with and is being used as a webcam. That's inside the ring light that I use for lighting my setup or lighting myself during the videos, along with a key light on the right hand side. And then you also have got the cloud so i'll do like a zoom out shot here so this is how my desk looks like at usually uh after evenings so this is where i come and do my work so yeah that was all the stuff and the other thing that I, I wanted to mention is the chair that i upgraded recently so let me turn on the light here so that i can show you so this is the chair it's the herman miller something i'll link it down below i was able to get it used it is worth every penny my back is so good now uh, with you know sitting for almost the entire day i think uh you should invest in a good chair and with covid happening a lot of the offices were closing locally so they were selling these used so i was able to get a good deal on this one and i totally recommend upgrading to this and while we are at it i just wanted to show each plushie so you have got the avocado, you know, I'm a developer evangelist or developer advocate. So you've got to have the avocado along with the solo mascot. So we have a solo plushie and we also have the AWS Sam squirrel. That was the setup. Uh, this is what you see in the background. And then this is the setup itself. And yeah, this is where most of the 2023 work will be happening. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.